Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, I just wanted to shoot a very quick uh, video today. Just a very quick comparison of two pens I, I think are, are interesting and similar uh, and are good for those people who are looking for a smaller pen. Um, and to put that into context, this is the Lamy logo fountain pen and this is the Faber-Castell Neo Slim. To put them into context, here is a Lamy Safari. So in terms of the uh, length of the pens, they're not that dissimilar, but you can see just uh, the width is considerably uh, narrower on these two pens. Uh, and that becomes even more apparent when you sort of uncap these pens and you notice that they are quite slim, uh, very similar to a sort of a ballpoint uh, pen in a lot of ways. A sort of a standard ballpoint pen. So these are great for people with smaller hands uh, and for uh, those people who are sort of looking for something that is, um, you know, the fit inside of a journal or uh, something like that. Great for quick note taking and for some basic sort of, um, yeah, like quick use as opposed to perhaps for people with larger hands, longer writing sessions. A little bit of breakdown about the pen, both of them are cartridge converter pens, of course the Lamy using its uh, proprietary uh, cart uh, converter here, uh, and the Faber-Castell pen using a more standard uh, international uh, converter. Um, it's a, these are, as I said, these are both narrow pens, but what's interesting about the uh, Faber-Castell is the grip the section here is so small, sort of undefined, so the, I think the expectation is that you would hold the pen sort of across uh, the step there. And it's not a big step, but it is noticeable. The Lamy also has an interesting grip with these sort of rib, uh, ridges sort of along the, the section, which stop it from becoming slippery, but also, uh, once again, if you're not into texture under your fingers, it might not be the pen for you. Both pens post relatively uh, securely, uh, creating sort of decent length pens, um, and it posts in similar ways, um, similar sort of profiles. Uh, both have spring-loaded um, or spring clips, uh, and both write relatively well. Of course, I have the Faber-Castell here in the broad, uh, and I have the Lamy with a medium nib, but you can swap out the medium nibs from, or the nibs from other Lamy pens. I thought I'd just do a quick writing sample just so we so see uh, how the pens write, and then I'll talk about some of the basic sort of stats. Um, so here we have the Lamy logo with a medium. Uh, and this ink is Robert Oster Velvet Storm. So this is quite a nice pen. Uh, Lamy's are, they're, they're smooth enough, they're sort of wet enough for basic sort of everyday stuff. Nothing fancy, nothing exciting to sort of write home about, but, you know, a more than pleasant pen to write with. Uh, and nice, sort of, it feels okay in the hand. It's got a sort of a decent sort of heft to it for its size. Now looking at the Faber-Castell, this is the Faber-Castell. I had it uncapped there for a second. Faber-Castell Neo Slim. This is the uh, steel, um, matte steel version. Uh, and this is a broad. It's not really that much sort of broader than the Lamy, really. Uh, it is noticeably broader, but um, and the oh the ink here is uh, what is this? This is Waterman Serenity Blue. So smooth nib. The the Faber Castell nibs are, steel nibs are really beautiful nibs, um, smooth and generous in their flow, reliable. Um, as that had been uncapped, so it was a bit of a hard, hard getting the pen writing, but. Uh, it's, you know, it had been uncapped for a little while while I was talking, um, and Serenity Blue does dry fairly quickly. But these are nice, reliable pens, once again, but quite slim, uh, and I said there's that sort of step down there on the section which might put a few people off. So, stats. The logo weighs uh, 20 grams, 14 in the body, 6 in the cap, and the Neo weighs 22 grams, 
16 in the body and 6 in the cap. Uh, so they're both fairly sort of mid-range pens in terms of the weight. Uh, capped, the logo is 135 millimeters, uncapped 117, and posted, it's 161. Now this is where things start to get a bit interesting. Let's just look at these pens just quickly in terms of their, their size there. So the Faber-Castell is 140 versus 135 when it's posted. Unposted, it's 117 as I said, and the Faber-Castell is 122. So still just a couple of millimeters longer. Then when you post the pens, the height rate, the length ratio actually swaps. And the Lamy goes from being five millimeters longer, 161 to 156. So these are a fairly much sort of stock standard, well, uh, similar size pens. Uh, the Lamy being smaller than most sort of Lamy pens, uh, you know, this is a traveler pen. It reminds me in a way of the Diplomat Traveler or something like that. So not big pens used for sort of shorter writing sessions, as I said, or smaller hands, um, nice sort of easy carry pens. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch with me via any of the platforms listed below. Uh, and if you've got anything, any way you'd like to support this channel, get in touch and see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.